met Jesse White when he was uh, uh, maybe about six months old. We met Mayor Delhi when he was about maybe the same time, six months or five months old. He met, uh, he met Paul Corpus, he met, he met a lot of, I, I took Joseph to introduce Joseph to a lot of people. But I think everybody will see the end. A lot of people don't know the end yet. They will see the end, why I did all that, you know. But uh, because for me, I know Joseph is special. I always know Joseph is special. You know, I tell a story when Joseph, when his mom was pregnant, you know, I used to tell people that he's a boy, you know. But they, Man, how you know that? How you know he's a boy? I said, I know he's a boy. You know? I said, I know the right, he's a boy. And then when I went to, when I even went to check, they have to check and see if he's a boy. Mm -hmm. When I get there, I say, man, I don't know why she came here. I know he's a boy. So then when they went to check, they let say, yeah, you're right. You're mm -hmm. right. You know, so I was, I say, that's it, you know. And so I know exactly what, what and nobody have to know. Just me, because every, when everybody have their kids, they know where they are kids. They want to put their kid. And everybody have to say, hey, my kid's going to be this. My kid's going to be this. going to be this. But one thing I want him to be, to be good at school. That's the only thing that, and then the boxing also kicked in. So I was happy about it. Where do you see Joseph in the next, say, five, six years? I mean, where do you see him going? I think in the next, by 15, 16 years, everybody's going to be running after him. They want to promote him. Everybody, every promoter, will, every promoter will say they want to promote him. And then, so, that's the time that we're going to find a way to do the right decision, you know, that where he's going to go. Every promoter will want him, you know. So, I try to keep him. The most of thing that I want him to know, I just want him to know that when Grow up, you have to learn how to give back to people. You have to be just be good to people, and then your life gonna be okay. When you find a way to be good to people, bring your if you wanna help, do everything. Be, because to be to feel to feel to take somebody to just like you, that's the most difficult thing in the, this world. To know that I can help this person to make his life all right for him. Yeah, I can put my last. That's the thing. Also, I like to do that mm -hmm. a lot. That mm -hmm. guy. He gave everybody, you know, you when you go, even the, uh, what do you call the house, soccer team, everybody know him, everybody from boxing, you can go to that guy, and you see his life is all right all the time, you know, that's the thing I want him to, I grew up that way, my dad showed us that way, so when you, when you grow up that way, also you want to, you, you can't stop and you mm -hmm. keep on doing the same thing, even you see people that you go through them, they will hurt you, you feel like, oh, this person disappointed, but you can't turn your, out you keep on just to make you a different type of happiness mm. Mm. i'll come to you but joseph tell me about this um you have people like the gda couple talking about gda president all having eyeballs on you i mean you're talking about george lamte as well who is a gda president even he was at your lunch before we came here you're talking about big big personalities samuel Adimado, ceo of jan investment Equally also there. You're talking about big personality, even from radio, television, and all that. Every journalist virtually talking about you. How does that make you feel when you, you, you are being told that all these people are actually following you? Well, the feeling that I get mostly is I have to keep on working and so that their time and me was not a waste and that uh, I can show much more with the help that they give me too. And it just mostly um, it makes me feel very happy to know how much I've accomplished and how people can see it. Interesting. Uh, what are you thinking of going to Ghana anytime soon to see your people, probably Africa as well? Uh, I'm thinking of going maybe this summer or anytime soon. Uh, we're hoping of going any year we all go. This summer is probably the most likely time. In the next five to ten years, where do you see yourself? Uh, Five to ten years, I'll probably be a pro boxer, finish with college so that everything is going good, and uh, make uh, trying to be a very good role model to other people and be one of those big top fighters. Look into my cameras and send a message to people out there. Uh, just to let you know, keep on watching. I have a lot more to accomplish, and this could get very good. Thank you. Joseph, I probably want you to sum the whole thing up but I need you to tell me yes when you think Joseph will be ready to actually go for maybe the Olympics or something that would be my final response uh he will be Joseph will be ready for me Joseph will be ready I think the way 
said that at one. He's doing everything right, everything right. By 14 years, it's going to be totally, really, really different. And then for me, also, people that were helping Joseph, I thank you guys a lot, man. I know you. You can mention the names. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, the Bowling Brook Mayor help mm -hmm. me. The people from Ghana also are Samoa, especially Alaji, as my nursing. And some Taba, especially that guy, uh, Alaji, and I know that I don't, he don't, he, I know that he don't want me to mention his name, but mm -hmm. uh, thanks all God to you, man. I appreciate that a lot, man. You know, there's a lot of people just like you in the in the world, you know, and make sure that we make sure that we give back, or we make sure that we end up to be the same like the way you are. Finally, finally, as they say, um, as my lesson speaks so much, so well about Joseph. When you hear comments like that, how does that make you feel? Yeah, as my lesson make me for him to be talking to my son, you know that uh, wisdom about boxing and all this guy was a champion for ten years straight and he can hall of famer. Yeah, <laughs> that he can fight. Then uh, for him also to talk to my son and give him advice, he will, it's not like he he don't have to train my son. He don't, but that energy that he can send, I went through energy, and that energy that he sent to my son. He don't have to see my son. He gonna, I know he's going to see my son. But for him to talk about my son, that means a lot to me. For me, I just need one day that I can take my son to there so I can say, hey, I'm dropping with Azuma Nets and just work with him and train with him just for one day. I can drop you. I don't want to have, I don't want to have to be there if he's talking to you. I just want that. That's If I can get opportunity for that one, I'll be very, very happy. Just drop my son with Azuma Nets to work with him for just for just for half a day, Seth, I'll be, that's the only thing I need, you know, that one I can't change with him. Even if he give me money, Seth, I don't want that, I want that time so mm -hmm. he can spend with my son for half a day. For, for, for him to spend the whole day with my son, all that, that's something that I'll need. Because people are, like, you can see, you can get it, it's very, very difficult. So most of the people in Ghana, this is a big opportunity they have to take because you have to pass that. That wisdom and this thing, he can he can he can die that knowledge, he can die with that but he have to pass it to the right person and how the right person is gonna receive it. That's the problem. And I know that he's going through a lot. But as I always have I keep my finger crossed that, that Joseph when Joseph come, he have to be the right right time and the right time for him to go so he can pass that thing to that person. Because he still have it. And somebody have to grab it in Ghana. And so far I didn't see nobody yet. Yeah. I didn't see nobody who yeah. pass him or do something. Nobody ever. But uh, if he, he, ha he have it, then he's going to pass it. And I always hope that he's going to be my son. Interesting. Interesting. Let me ask you this. Speaking to these cameras, and motivate the child out there, possibly send a message to the guy in public. It's not, uh, you know, sometimes in life you, we always feel like uh, I have to eat. I have to eat before I can get if you have something that I'll tell you one thing, I always wanna I always wanna come to America. I always want Don King to bring me to America. And I was in uh, I was a homeless in in France about three to four months I sleep in the train station. But I was happy because I know Don King gonna bring me in this country. I don't know how I'm gonna get here, but I know Don King because I always wanna fight for him. That's the only person I wanna fight. But it end up happy, but it end up happy in a different way. I try my but I did everything happy in a different way. But if you have a you wanna do something, I know it's tough, you know, especially in Africa. It's tough and we need to do a lot for our country. You know, we always wanna run and come here. You know, sometimes I feel really jealous about you. You can come over here and go and you feel happy in Ghana. That's what we wanna feel also. You know, how how can you how can you travel? leave your cousins and everything and, uh, and then come here and tell her that this is a, it's a, it's a the way to live. You think that because I went through it, uh, I started traveling when I was young from 1991. So, you know, my body now is used to it, you know, but uh, sometimes also you see them. I have, my son have cousins and a lot of people in Ghana have to know them. If I don't do something about it, I'm never going to know them no more. They're, it's cut off. They don't even care about them because they don't know anything about them. But I have to do something about it. We, we feel like we are in a, we are in America or we are in Europe and we are all that. But it's a, it's a, if you look at it a different way, you guys are enjoying Ghana, enjoying your own land and all that. Mess. 
we can go to Africa and wear all these nice clothes and then try to go. No, but that's not, that's not enjoyment inside. But for you to go to Ghana and then you can walk to here, you can walk to your cousin house, you can walk to this, you can call your buddy and say, hey, come and pick me up, man. That's most enjoyment more than this. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's, it's a hard sometimes. You go to a work and you want to work the way they will treat you. And most of the African people also know that. They will treat you the way that you don't. It's not, it's not, uh, even you still make that money and they still give you that money. There's no enjoyment inside. It's like suffering. You go to a work and the way they look at you, they look at you like you just come here because your country is poor. And that's not true that our country is poor. That's not really true. But they don't understand. That's not true because it's a, our country is still young. But I think so. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be. But to look at you that way, it's a you know. And they they can talk to you any way that they want to talk to you because they know you're not gonna quit that job. You need that job more than everything. And then you stay inside. And then they talk to you like you're a piece of nothing. And then, you know. And then you know. Sometimes when you see, that's why. I'm, that's why when I saw you, I said, damn, you must be happy, man. And I, and I said, wow, you know. But we don't see, you know, sometimes also it's hard, but I think it's going to get better. You know, you're going to, you have to look at things a little bit different, you know. So if you are somebody who are doing something in Ghana, I don't feel like, you know, I need to come here, I need to go here. You know, you can come here, who cares? You know, you can go to American embassy and sometimes you go there the way they treat you like you are coming to stay. And that's not right, you know. Let people come and go back and they can, you can see they're different. You know, but if you're in Ghana, you want to come here, you know, you can come here anytime. But if you're in Ghana, you want to do something also. And I know the politicians, they're going to change things. I know for sure, 100%. They're going to change it because their own family live in Ghana and all this. You're going to change. You're going to be better. Thank you very much. This is where we end our interview with uh, Joseph Avinunda Jr., Senior Amase. This is the Junior. Most definitely, you should catch up and of course, stay tuned as well.